70%. Where in your life are you currently giving 70%? What's up guys, Jeff here from Grit City Fitness and Performance and today it's all about 70%. What do I mean here guys? Yesterday and pretty much just about every week I talk to some clients about nutrition. Now. This is the easiest framework to see the 70% rule fall into. Inside of nutrition, we have seven days a week, right? Oftentimes, people follow their nutrition Monday through Friday, but guess what? Saturday, Sunday happens. They fall off the wagon. They go completely off track. They don't follow their nutrition. They don't track it. They don't do anything, or maybe they do just a little bit. But guess what? Out of seven days, if you mess up two of those days, how much of an impact is that? Well, most of us think that we're doing good or we're doing pretty good, but the truth is you're giving 70% or you're achieving 70% of the outcome or desired outcome. Guess why? Because if we take seven days and divide it by 100, 100%, right? If we divide seven days by 100, each day represents about 15% of our overall outcome per week. Guess what? If I fuck up twice, meaning Saturday and Sunday, don't pay attention, don't track, don't care, I'm getting 70%. That means no matter how good you were all fucking week long, if we were in high school, in college, in any class, we would have a C. We would barely be passing, okay? Now ask yourself, if we were in college, if we were in high school and we were getting a C and we were barely passing with 70%, would we be looking at our outcomes and saying, I'm doing pretty good. Would you be like, holy shit, I barely got past that and I probably am almost not gonna graduate on this track. Could you imagine looking at your goals currently and realizing that the outcomes you have currently is because you give 70% or less? Listen guys, you can bullshit yourself all fucking day long, okay? I gotta be real harsh here, real critical here. You can bullshit yourself all day long. The truth is, if you fuck up one time a week, you're a B student. Meaning, you got 85%. If you fuck up twice a week, you're a 70% student. You're a C grade. If you fuck up more than twice, you are lower than a D. You are technically failing at 55%. Now, take real critical observation of your week, of your actions, of what you do, your discipline, your focus, your attention. Where are you living? Are you living in the 70% and hoping that you're getting an A? Because you're not going to. You're not going to get an A. You're not going to be 100% until you stop accepting that okay, or I'm good enough, or I'm doing pretty good. Because we both know now that 70% is an almost fail. You would not be passing classes if you had that continuously. You would fail, right? Realize you're failing in your goals because you're giving 70% each week or less. Listen guys, it's real easy. Get on fucking track, stop being okay with okay, or stop being good with good enough, because good enough doesn't get you shit, it gets you a C and that's why you're stuck. You want real results? You want real outcomes? Stop allowing okay and I think I'm doing well to be your rebuttal, response, or acceptance when someone says, what are you doing? I'm doing okay. No, you fucking ain't. You got a C, bro. You have a C and you're saying you're okay. Listen, you're not okay until you're a B or an A student. You still got shit to worry about when you're a C student, right? You still are worrying about if you're gonna pass. You're still worried if you even know the material. You're still worried, shit, if you can even continue, right? So fuck, man, guys. Listen, stop being okay with okay. Stop being good with good enough. Listen, you're not good enough, you're a C, okay? Not to say this critically, because I love you. And if you're watching this still, I really love you because you're watching this and absorbing it. Listen, you want an outcome. You want a change of result. You want a new outcome that you do not have. Listen, good enough is not good enough, guys. 70% is not okay. 70% is not going to get you an amazing result right? A 70% is not going to get you to be an honor roll student. 70% is not going to get you top tier outcomes. 70% is not going to get you into college, right? It's not. So are you accepting 70% in your life? Are you accepting 70% from your outcomes? Are you accepting 70% from everything you do? Because if you are, 
and you want 100%, if you want to be an honor student, but you're accepting okay, guess what? You're living in two different zones, and they're never going to cross-connect just because your hopes, wishes, and wants. They're going to happen because you put focus and attention into increasing that grade one day at a time. Listen, guys, if you're five days a week right now, go to six. That's 75%, 80% right there. You want more? Improve. Improve daily. Don't allow yourself to slip off on some days because it's Saturday and Sunday. Realize those are impactful days that are literally cutting your results in a third. So that's it, guys. 70%. Are you living inside of it? Ask yourself that question. Where am I allowing myself to accept mediocre outcomes, mediocre decisions, mediocre behavior because it's good or okay or I think I'm doing great when really... You ain't doing great at all, guys. Accept 70% is not good and accept that you want better and make that shit happen. Get yourself to a B, get yourself to an A and see how things start to change when you stop accepting good enough.